Uh, well, we're here at the Springfield Short Track, and as you can see, we're about to have a jet ski race here. I think, uh, what is it, Hurricane or Tropical Storm Isaac has uh, unleashed on us again, so the track's starting to get pretty saturated at this point. About uh, five minutes ago, the track was rideable, so... You know, it's, uh, hopefully we can get this race in tonight, but it's uh, looking tougher and tougher with every minute of this rain. You know, the day started out weird. And it's just kind of a, a disappointment overall to have to come down here and not even really unload your stuff. We kind of checked our bikes in, loaded it back in the van, and the, we could see the clouds were coming. And I said, I don't know, I think it's going to miss us. The clouds are kind of going by, and we were right on that edge of the really dark clouds and almost blue skies. And, uh, you know, the, it just started coming up more and more and more. And, you know, we, we were watching on the radar, so we pretty much knew it was going to happen. But, yeah, it's a dis disappointment for sure. You know, anytime we can come out here and ride the Downs Kawasaki and, and try to fight for a win, it's, it's a good time. I uh, had a real good racer last year, ended up winning the main event, was uh, behind a little bit in the early going, then come about halfway, made my way into the lead, and uh, from there just rode a pretty smooth race, I think, to get another win here at the Springfield Short Track. All fine right now. Everybody's trying to figure out the track, so it's a pretty neat track. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how the race unfolds tonight. I think it'll be close, like it always is here at Springfield. I think last year, the comparatively to this year, last year the track was a little tighter. So uh, this year they try to make a big track for the fans, make it wall to wall, and as long as they could. So pretty big track.